Hello everyone, welcome to the tool called GIMP. GIMP is a free tool that you can use to edit photos, crop stuff out, change file types, do a lot of things that you would do with Photoshop, but this is now absolutely free. When you first open it up, what you're going to look over on the left is your toolbox. If you click on one of your tools, it's going to change all the options right below. For example, if I click on paintbrush, I'm going to get a different brush sizes over here. Um, I can adjust how big I want it to be. I can also click on something such as the eraser and I could adjust that, but you have all your tools in here. The middle area is going to be your main working area. Think of it like your canvas if you're painting it. This is where you can open up images, um, you can change the layers, do a lot of other options with there. And your option on the right is your layer window. Your layers, trying to think of layers is like a hamburger. We start off with the base image, like the bottom bun, and we're going to stack up more images right on top of each other like we would with like a bun. Uh, the meat, the lettuce, tomato, and so on. If you don't see this up, make sure you click on Windows, recently closed Docs, or make sure you click Layers, Channels, Paths, Windows, and now open it up. What we're going to do today is we're going to open up two pictures, and I'm going to edit one of them, cut it out the head or the body, and I'm going to stick it in a different background. Notice that you look over on the left here, it's going to change my folders and drives. Try to find your pictures that you have saved now, preferably probably on your age drive. Notice that as I click on a different folder or a different picture, it changes the thumbnail on the right. Open up the picture now that you want to cut out and the background that you want to paste it into. Right now I have my two pictures opened up. What I want to do is I want to cut out my head and paste it on the little girl's body. The problem is my picture is way too small, so what I need to do first is click on my magnifying glass, make sure I got the zoom in dot and auto resize window checked off. And now I'm going to zoom in on this as I go. You can make it bigger. Well, you can start to see all these little squares on my photograph. Those are called pixels. The reason my picture looks pixelated is because my picture is only 156 by 208 pixels. That's not a lot. That's why it looks a little square. So who's trying to make sure you have a lot of pixels, a high quality image when you start? When you get it to the size you want, come on over and use your pair of scissors tool. And then what we're going to do is we are going to cut out very carefully all around the edge of whatever we're going to cut out. I key, you can be very close with these or you can kind of jump a little and the scissors normally will pretty much follow your line except like right there. You can always sometimes add another dot and drag it down if you need to. But go all around your image right now and cut out whatever you want to cut out for your picture. Just about when you're all ready to go around your picture, you're going to take your last dot and bring it back to the first dot. Notice that my icon is changing from a plus sign into two circles overlapping. Click right there and that's press enter on your keyboard. That means I have a selection made. If you have this little marching hand effect, you now want to right click on your picture, go to edit and cut. And you could just minimize that because you might have to go back to it later and then go to your new picture that you want to paste it on and then right click this is very important edit paste as new layer make sure you please only use new layer you're going to do this every time then what you see my head is way too small for this photograph so I'm going to have to scale it so I'm going to come over to my toolbox again and go find the scale tool it looks like a square with a little arrow diagonally cutting across it and then you have to actually click on the thing that you want to scale in this case it's going to be my head. Make sure your chain is together. See there's a difference between being separated together. That means it keeps it in ratio. As I'm moving this arrow up, it's keeping my width and height together. Uh, you can hold this up or down, get it to the size you want. You can click on the middle of the plus sign. And you could drag the image around. And what you're seeing right now is I have a before and after image. I want to get it close as I can to the size on this little girl that I can by just keep holding my up arrow or you can also just drag a corner of the box and you can get it to the size that you want and then when you're ready hit scale and there you are you're ready for the next part of the tutorial 